one area of BIM track that I feel is really important to set up early on is your profile. BIM track has a lot of ability to chat, collaborate, coordinate and communicate with different members of the project team. So I think it's key that your profile is configured and consistent across your organisation to make sure that people know who they're talking to and understand what's going on. Once we're logged into BIM track, we head over to the My Profile section on the left hand side. From the My Profile section, you have some very easy to control settings on the left, such as your image and your email address and your name. Now much of that will be controlled from your, uh, your sign up information when you first sign up to BIM track. But we can come in here and edit profile information should we want to, where we can change certain information. We can give ourselves a title, a company, as well as some industry and some other information should we want to, including what's key for me, some time and date formats. This is also incidentally where you change your password if you need to. I think what's probably more important from your perspective is your notification settings and pointing out that these notification settings are individual to each individual user. That means that these aren't set globally, so every user can control exactly what notifications they want to receive and when they want to receive them. This is great because it means if you're a fan of receiving bulk notifications and bulk emails whenever something happens, you can set it up that way. If you'd rather have a snapshot daily or whatever it might be, you can set it up that way. Really easy to do. For example, if you get added or removed from a project, do you want to be emailed immediately? Or do you want to be given a daily snapshot, a weekly snapshot, or nothing at all in your inbox? I've said that if I'm added or removed from a project, I kind of want to know straight away. So let me know. Either way, we have an email notification and a web notification. Your web notification will come through on this little alarm bell at the top of the screen. And obviously your email will come through to your inbox with the email address against your profile. We can define everything from being assigned to an issue. You could get several issues throughout the day. We don't want to get an email on every single issue assignment. So we say that we want to get a daily snapshot. The same for a notification. The same for if an issue is updated. So on and so forth. We can literally come in here and choose exactly when we do or do not want to receive notifications on something happening, which is really, really useful. Including specifically when you're the author of an issue, you might want to get an immediate update. Whereas if you're on the notification list for an issue, you might only want to get a daily snapshot. It really depends on your personal preference. Towards the bottom of the settings area, you have some more alert information. So we can set due dates, we can set um, request dates, so on and so forth. So we want to make sure that we're getting notifications through before that due date is up. And we can come in and choose exactly how we want to be reminded, both via email and on the web, whether you're the author of an issue, whether you're assigned, or whether you're on the notification list. Absolutely, if you want to, you can turn all notifications off. But we do recommend that you keep them on and choose your own custom settings. Right at the bottom of the profile, you do have some masking preferences. So if you do not want to receive masking information from BIMTRAC, BIM then absolutely you can go and customize those settings. In my mind, the first thing you should do once you're signed up for BIMTRAC is head onto your profile, get your profile set up correctly, and make sure your notification settings are the way that you want them to be. At any time you can come in and change them, but it makes sense to do them at the start.